Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 5M server from a base and you need no coding experience whatsoever. You can do this all on your own. It's super simple. So first, what you're going to want to need is XAMPP. You're going to want that and you're going to want to have the MySQL uh, started. So you're going to want to have that and you're also going to want to have Heidi SQL. So pretty much you're going to want to click on the SQL base and we have view we'll open one you'll right click it create new and database and you'll name it es underscore extended or essential mode whatever it really asks for in here you can scroll down database es, ES extended you'll run that let it go all the way through and then you can just go ahead and close it so now we'll go ahead and go here we'll start the server check if there's any errors or anything there shouldn't be and there you go, no errors. So right now we could run the server and you know see what it looks like, but uh, you know you could go and add some stuff. But we'll go ahead and run the server anyway. So I'll be right back while I do that. All right, we've loaded in the server. As you can see, obviously there's a register, so we'll click it, register and we'll see what's going on. All right, so, you know, pretty, pretty standard. Um, yep, have some banking spots. <laughs> it's not much on the, the map here. Uh, but, you know, it's a start. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be added, and for a base, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty normal. So we have the HUD at the bottom. It's, uh, it's pretty default. We can, we can change that quite a bit of HUDs that we can change it to. See, there's still like traffic and stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's go to the dealership and we'll check some stuff out. So it just has all the, like, default cars in uh, GTA Online and stuff. It has all these cars. Um, we can, we can change all these. We can delete these cars, add new uh, groups and cars and add-on cars and whatnot. I'll show you how to do that. But, for the most part, it's a pretty good start. Now let's get adding some stuff. So the first three things that we're going to add here is going to be a vehicle pack, a loading screen, and legacy fuel. Um, these are very like important things for if you're doing an RP server or whatnot. So here's like our vehicle pack. Here's the fuel system where it requires people to refuel their car and it'll run out of gas and stuff. There you go. And a loading screen. You can search for vehicle packs online or leak servers or other websites. Legacy fuel is right on GitHub. And loading screen you can find from um, leak servers and pretty much everywhere. It's very easy to find a loading screen. You can choose whatever one you want, but we'll go ahead and add these three. So. All we need to do, we need to go back, go to our CFG. Grab our CFG over here. And we can organize stuff. So let's say we could do... So basically if you do the like number symbol, whatever you want to call it, we'll do, we'll do add what we added. So you can do start or ensure for things. So pretty much we'll just take our folder name that we added, legacy fuel, loading screen, and vehicle. We'll, we'll go ahead and add those, right? So we'll start loading screen. And we'll do start legacy fuel and start vehicle. And now those three are all added. And when you start the server, they'll all three start. But first, the only thing that we need to do next for the vehicle is it's not going to show up like you can spawn these in if you have a slash car script or whatever but to, for them to show up in shop you have to pull up your id sql you have to click on your database and go to vehicles you'll see there's all the default gta cars so what you want to do highlight all of these and 
delete rows. Now there's nothing in your in your shop. There's going to be no cars, nothing. We'll just add one car and it's the same for everything. So basically you can go to categories and see all these categories. Um, you can change all these. So we'll do, we'll delete these and we'll do, we'll do add-ons. So I'll insert this. We'll do add-ons. We'll select the price is one dollar. No, we'll do that. And all we need to do is go to our car pack. Go to yep. You need to go to data. Click on pretty much whatever you want. You know, we'll do unbranded whatever. Anything. We'll pick a good one. What should we do? Um. Do the skyline, why not? We'll click on the handling file. And this will show you what the spawn code is, which is skyline. So we'll copy that and close out of there. Go back to our Heidi. We'll do model. You, you paste the handling file name in there. And then this we can do, I believe it's an R34. So we'll, do, we'll name it R34. And that's all you gotta do. So then you don't even need to save it, saves by itself. You can close it and we'll go ahead and run our server. As you can see, it loaded all the car pack. You can go ahead and scroll up, see all these cars, these are the car pack. So we'll go ahead and run the server and we'll test it out. So, as you can see, we have a new loading screen, which this is just some random loading screen. There's a bunch more that you can get. You can make a custom loading screen, put whatever song you want. There's so much you can do with the loading screen, but this is just a random one I I picked. So now that we're loaded into the server, go to our map. You can see there's gas stations, gas stations now on the map. Um, it's very good for RP, good RP script. But uh, yeah, we'll go and do our our car dealership, and you can see car dealers add-ons, and then our skyline, and we'll go ahead and buy that. But we don't have enough money, so what you're gonna need to do, you can do like set group one super admin and you know i don't know why it says denied but uh and then you give account money one bank and then you can do random amount and we'll go to the bank you can also spawn in all the cars so if you do like slash car skyline it'll actually spawn in that car or whatever car that you have in the pack, make sure it's the one that's in the handling file. So if you walk up to like an ATM, never mind. You just walk in the bank, you access the account. And you just go through and you see we have some money. Um, so we'll go ahead and withdraw. We'll just do our box. We'll withdraw it. As you can see, our money is in the top right. So now that we have money, we can run in here and go to the car dealership, see the car. We can now buy it. Now you have the car, you own it. All right, we can head over to the LS Custom over here and see if we can upgrade the car, but don't really have that much money. 
But actually, I think because the car was so cheap, uh, upgrade should be really cheap or even free. You can go look at this though. We'll go, uh, yeah, everything's super cheap. So you can upgrade it, whatever. Max upgrade the car. So lastly, we'll uh, we'll check the the legacy fuel. Go up to the gas pump, get out of the car, and you just refuel the vehicle. And I'll fuel it up. There's a percentage in here. What it what it fills up to. Um. There you go. It'll take money out of it. That's really it. Pretty simple. Three pretty good scripts that'll that'll help you out. All right, lastly, we're gonna add this HUD in here. We're just gonna drag that in that I downloaded and we can just rename it to HUD. And we'll go into our server.cfg and add it to the CFG, just like every other script. It's pretty much the same concept for every script. Once you get it down, it's pretty easy to add things and make a pretty decent server just through drag and drop. All right, so there it is. We have the new HUD loaded in. And I'm sure when you get into a car, it'll change. See, we have the minimap now and some speedometer and our gas. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for this video. This is just part one of a, a series that I'll be making for you guys to see, you know, just some aspects of making a server and helping you guys along the way. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.